Hello everyone and welcome to another video about fun stuff that is open source. This one is about an NDS emulator, a Nintendo DS emulator. It's called Desmium. It's a cross-platform emulator and what that means is that it will work on Linux, Mac and Windows. This is the website for that emulator. You can uh, see it in the description down below. On the right hand side you can see the download section. The latest release is 0.9.7. Do keep in mind that this is an alpha release, which means that uh, you may experience some bugs or glitches, but for most part it should work just fine. On the download section, the first two things that you will see is uh, the Windows 32-bit binary. Allow me to zoom in for a bit. Uh, what you will see is the Windows 32-bit binary and the Mac binary. Uh, if you are using Windows 32-bit or a Mac, these should work right out of the box. Uh, you can have an uh, NDS emulator uh, like that and the second section contains the source this is a shortcut uh, directly to the source code this is the source code specifically meant for Windows only if you are using an operating system uh, that is Windows 64 bit this is the one you want to get not the first one uh, that is if you are running Windows 7 64 bit or something like that uh, and the last one is uh, the Windows 32-bit binary for non-SSE2 processors. Uh, this is a non-SSE2 build, which means that if you have a really, really, really old computer, you should get this one. What I would like to get your attention to is uh, this link down, down below. Uh, this is the SourceForge link. Uh, this will take us directly to the SourceForge page. And... Uh, as you can see, this emulator is still in its alpha stage and this is maintained by these two awesome guys and they have really difficult to pronounce names so I can't do that but thank you, hats off to you, you are doing work that is really nice. Okay, so this is uh, the source code for the entire emulator. Uh, you need to download this in order to build it right from scratch. Uh, why you should do this, you ask? Well, uh, it is. Uh, better for compatibility, it will give you a lot fewer errors, a lot fewer crashes, it will give you a better performance, it will give you much better performance than the standard binary because it is built on your own system according to your own specifications. And it is well, basically a lot better in uh, many other ways which I shall not go into detail about in this video. And if you are using Windows then as you can see that this file has an extension of uh, tar.gz, it is a gzipped tarball. Uh, in order to open this on Windows systems, uh, you need to get another open source tool which you will find very handy if you decide to build more stuff on your own or well just to have a better uh, archive manager if you may. So this is gzip.org, uh, the link is down in the description again. What this does is that it handles file extensions like tar, char, zip, tar.gz and tar.c. What you need to do is go to the executable section down below and get either one of these files and install it. It is open source, it is completely safe and uh, it will work really really nice. And uh, after you install that, what you need to do is download this file right here and uh, I have it downloaded after you open it you shall see that it looks something like this this is the entire source code what you need to do is extract it in a particular location like let's say for my home folder this is the entire source right now I am doing this video on Ubuntu because it is my favorite distribution you can do it on any operating system uh, okay, now let's get down to building the source code, uh, building the package right from the source. It is really easy, it sounds difficult but it actually isn't. What you need to do is gain access to the command line interface. Uh, for me it is terminal, uh, for some it will be shell or like the command prompt for Windows. In Linux, uh, I have the terminal. What I need to do now is navigate to that folder using a simple change directory command. For me, it is this new 0.9.7. After I enter this directory, uh, for Linux users or uh, in some cases even for Mac users, you need to obtain super user privileges to do the following. For me, the command is sudo. 
that is SUDO because I am using Ubuntu. The next part will be the same for all operating systems. You need to do dot forward slash configure. After you do this, you shall see this sort of code. Don't be alarmed, don't be scared by it. It seems intimidating, but it's just doing its own thing. Let just trust it to do whatever it can. And in just like a couple of seconds or so, the entire source is built. It may take you longer for uh, doing it on your system, depending on your operating system and uh, the sort of hardware that you're using. And uh, after this whole thing is done, the next command that we wish to issue is, again, I'm using the sudo prefix in order to get super user privileges. sudo make. It, it can again uh, take you longer to execute this command or it may take you a lot shorter and uh, what this does is basically it makes uh, the packages a uh, package uh, that you shall be actually using to install so let's install it now sudo make install and just hit enter it didn't ask me for a password in order to gain uh, super user privileges because I've already entered it so uh, don't be confused by that and just in a couple of seconds this is done and that was all that was needed uh, to install the emulator on any operating system that is windows mac or linux uh, as you can see uh, here the installation process is finished allow me to zoom out so that i can show you what it has actually done what this has done is that allowed me uh, i have allowed it to uh, place shortcuts directly where I would need them in my games section. On Mac also you shall find it in the applications uh, section. Uh, since I have Glade compatible hardware, since I have Glade installed and uh, uh, basically my computer supports Glade in simple terms. So that is why I have two, ex uh, two uh, options here, uh, the Desmium GTK uh, interface one or Desmium GTK with Glade. If you don't have the second one, it's completely fine, it's alright. And uh, all you have to do to run your Nintendo DS emulator now is just to click on it. That's about it. Uh, I just opened it so as to show you that this actually works. I'm opening the GTK one now again. And uh, well, here you can have the emulation configuration. People who are familiar with emulation will know what I'm talking about. Uh, these are the different things that you can configure and change and uh, basically make it your own for your own convenience and uh, well this is the emulator I'm not going to show you any gameplay footage because uh, this emulator is completely open source and I don't think it violates any laws or any copyrights so, well basically the uh, manner in which emulation is dealt with is in the legal grey area but as far as this emulator is concerned uh, it's safe to say that this is completely fine uh, now what you can do is back up your uh, uh, ROMs back up your games that you have legally bought uh, ink and uh, well you can just open them by using the open command on your computer that was about it thank you for watching the video if you could take a half a second i know that it's copied from captain sparkles but i love that guy so uh, if you could take half a second to uh, leave a comment or a rating or just basically like that video you can subscribe uh, if you want to uh, look at my new videos thank you very much for watching goodbye